Hello everyone, welcome to Kajiano Easy Math. We have here a geometry problem and we have here a given figure, a circumscribing square A, B, C, D, and inscribed semicircle and inscribed triangle. And these two uh, geometric figures are tangent to each other at point F. And we have one given side, segment AE, that is two units. And in this video, we're going to solve for the area between these two figures. And so to find for the area of the shaded region, we're going to find the area of the circumscribing square minus the area of the same circle minus the area of the triangle. Since the sides of the square is not given, but one side, segment AE, is given as two units. So we're going to calculate this side of the triangle based on this given dimension. So we're labeling our figure. We call this, uh, since this is a semicircle, designate as letter S. Region S. And here, let's say just triangle T. And let's say this uh, as R. Region R. And so we have a formula to calculate the area of the shaded region. That is area R, AR. Area of the shaded region is equal to area of the square minus area of the semicircle AS minus the area of the triangle as A of T. Find for the area of the uh, square, we need to calculate the side of the square. So we'll be deriving the, the side of the square from the given dimension segment AE from, from this area right here. Based on two tangent theorem, if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point, we're referring to this uh, segment AE that's given, that's two units, and they are both drawn to one circle. We're referring to this uh, semicircle over here. They have point of tangency on one side and the same tangent at point F over here. And these two segments are drawn from one external point, the same external point at point E. This means that these two segments are congruent. So that means if this is two, segment AE is two, then segment EF must be the same, that's two. So we are now labeling this uh, segment EF here is two, so, since these are congruent. And once again, since we don't know the side of the uh, square, we can indicate the side of the square as x. So we can have this as x. So on the bottom, the same thing, x. Based on the two tangent theorem, the same way, if this is x, then this side right here, cf must be the same length as x. So this must be x as well. Segment ce is the sum of these two segments right here, ef plus cf so that is x plus 2 and this side since the total side here is x this means this uh, segment de must be x minus 2 since we have two units right there so this becomes x minus 2 so this is the distance from e to d since we have all the sides of the triangle now we can use the uh, Pythagorean theorem to solve for the value of x, the side of the square. Right. From Pythagorean theorem, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So going back to our figure, our c over here is the hypotenuse, that is segment ce or ec. So that is c squared as ec squared. And A, it can be either the height or the base. We can designate DC as A, so that is X squared. And B squared, we can designate this side DE as side B, that is X minus 2. And that is A squared. And here, based on our figure, segment 
CE is 2 plus X. Segment EC or CE is 2 plus X. So that is 2 plus X. That is squared is equal to X squared plus quantity X minus 2 squared. From here, solving for the value of X over here, if you notice, we have this uh, binomial term and another one right here. So we can use binomial theorem, binomial expansion formula. Or let's recall an identity from the formula A plus B squared is equal to A squared plus B squared plus 2AB. And the other identity over here, X minus 2, that is A minus B squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. We're going to apply these two identities to solve for this side of the square x. All right. So now the left side of the equation, 2 plus x times the quantity is squared. So that is 2 squared plus 2 times x times 2, that's 4. That's 4x plus x squared equals right hand side that is x squared plus uh, we're applying the identity this one right here to this uh, term of the equation so this is now x squared minus 2 times 2 times x so it's 4x minus 4x negative 2 squared so that's 4 positive 4 so here we're canceling x squared and 2 is squared here is 4 and this is 4 we're canceling that 4 and what we have left we have 4x here a negative 4x here we can move this uh, to the left so this becomes 4x plus 4x equals what's left on the right side is x squared so here now 4x plus 4x that's 8x equals x squared. Here solving for the value of x, we're canceling the square, canceling the x. So we have now x is equal to 8 units. So going back to our figure, we have just found that the value of the x, the side of the square is 8. So x is 8. So this side is 8 also. This means that the radius of this semicircle is 4. This is 4 right here and 4 units on the other side. And so from here, we can now solve for the area of the square and the area of the semicircle. And we can solve for the area of the triangle. Solving for the area of the square, that is 8 times 8. So we have here area of the square is, so that is 8 times 8. So area of the square is equal to 64 square units. So next we'll be calculating the area of the semicircle S, area of S. We have here the radius is 4. So calculating for the area of the uh, semicircle, we calculate the area of the circle. It's pi r squared and we divide it by 2 since this is a semicircle. So we have here pi r squared and since this is a semicircle so it's divided by 2 so area now is 5 times radius is 4 squared divided by 2 so area of this semicircle is equal to so here pi times 4 squared is 16 divided by 2 so that is uh, 8 so that is 8 pi and considering pi here as 3.1416, 8 times pi is equal to 25.13. So area of the semicircle that is square units. And next we'll be calculating the area of the triangle. Area of the triangle over here we have the base as x and the height is x minus 2. So we have here the area of the triangle one half of base that is x times the height is x minus 2. 
and we have here the value of x as 8 so 1 half of 8 times 8 minus 2 that's 6 so we have here 6 divided by 2 that's 3 so is equal to 8 times 3 is 24 area of the triangle is 24 is square units so we can now calculate the uh, area of the uh, region between semicircle and the triangle area of the median area of r is equal to area of the square that is 64 square units minus area of the same circle that is 25.13 minus the area of the triangle that is 24 square units area of the median is equal to 14.87 square units 14.87 final answer and so that's all for now and for those new to my channel i would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos thank you very much thank you for watching i will see you in the next one have a great day everyone bye